Hey, good evening, y'all. It's Eric, Divine Intervention Bible Studies. I just wanted to make a quick video in regards to something the Lord had showed me over a year ago. And it's clearly, as you can see on the uh, video here, if you're not familiar with the symbol, I'll make it out. Um, I'll just make it quick and simple for you. This symbol right here is Derek Rose's symbol on his clothing brands, his shoes, so on and so forth. Um, the hat, for instance, will have that symbol right in the middle of the hat. The t-shirt will have the symbol on the shirt, shorts, on the tongue of the shoes, and probably other places as well. Now, if some of you are familiar with the symbol, you'll clearly recognize the symbol is flipped the other way, or it's looking as if you're looking at it in a mirror um, that's how as, as you guys are all aware I'm sure most of you are aware who will see this video that's how the occult Satanists, Luciferians whatever you want to refer to them as that's how they always do things they always turn it upside down or backwards or invert it or make it like a mirror um, so on and so forth and last year it would have been right around the same time Derrick Rose got injured for the second time with the other knee the Lord had revealed this to me with his um, symbol I'd seen it in a magazine or a flyer or something and I saw it and, and showed it to me right away and then I wanted confirmation so I went and looked in a mirror sure enough this is what I saw I mean this is what I see if no one else sees it whatever um, but let me know give me feedback if you see what I see here in this picture and clearly that is 666 you know you have the, the first six and then you have the second six and then you have the third six and then if you if you want any kind of confirmation you know just whether you're on your phone or a tablet or your laptop or whatever just flip it and every time you flip it you will see a six and it also kind of looks like a serpent's mouth opening up as well or like it's spewing out blood even so it's all very satanic it's all very hidden yet in your face right there so it's not hidden um, very Luciferian and I also just want to quote a couple scriptures along with this it's kind of illustrate the fact and prove that this is also very biblical on how on how the enemy likes to hide his plans if you turn in your King James Bible to Isaiah 29 15 and 16 woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding they always turn things upside down or put things in songs for instance backwards like with the back masking this type of research is all very well highly documented referenced so on and so forth don't take my word for it pray about these matters seek and research for yourself do not take my word for it don't follow me don't believe me believe what you find on your own because if you're seeking the Lord and you're drawing near to the Lord he's gonna reveal all these things to you the Holy Spirit will enter into you and it will reveal all these things to you so please don't take my word for it just look for yourself draw your own conclusion from this I mean to me it's blatantly obvious what it looks like that symbol does not look even they oh, it's a rose that's what of course oh like the Rosicrucians maybe right <laughs> I mean it's so in your face when you really think about it but you know praise God praise God for the ability to see these kind of things I mean I'm just very thankful that he 
he allows me to see these types of things and I know he'll allow you other brothers and sisters to see him and I know some of you brothers and sisters when you see this right away you're gonna be like oh wow there it is and I also wanted to add on top of this with Derrick Rose um, you know I was a huge Bulls fan before anybody especially especially those who might see this video and be like, oh, what's this guy? No, he doesn't know anything about sports. I was a huge Chicago Bulls fan. I grew up on the Bulls. I grew up in the 80s and 90s Jordan era, you know, all that, wearing Jordans, um, going to Bulls games, collecting memorabilia, the merchandise, the jerseys. You know, you couldn't tell me anything bad about Michael Jordan, you know, and now that I'm older and that I've studied these things, it's like, wow. And, and and the same with Derrick Rose, you know, couldn't tell me nothing about Derrick Rose, and he, uh, you know, he seemed very early on in his career. I mean, he seemed like he was just really a good, humble kid. But see, what happened was is once he won that MVP, that following year, he signed his big contract with Adidas, and he signed his big contract with the Bulls. Well, when he signed that big contract with Adidas, they gave him. A logo being this and once they did all that and they came out with all the new shoes for him all the shoes were jacked up in price I'm talking 130 140 150 and on up for a pair of shoes I mean just outright ridiculous and I had stopped once those prices of those shoes went up the way they did I stopped purchasing his shoes I was like this is ridiculous I am I just could not imagine paying that much for a pair of shoes now also once he started wearing this emblem that's when his big injuries came the first game of the playoffs that first year under his new contract with Adidas and the Bulls they were rocking this emblem and he got hurt injured in that first game his knee and you know he was out all the next season and then the start of last year same thing he gets hurt at the beginning of the year instead of the end of the year and it's his other knee now there has been some speculation I've seen online that claims and I don't I'm not saying this is thus saith the Lord but that claims that Derrick Rose um, was actually under a silent suspension kind of like Michael Jordan was back when he quote unquote retired the first time in 93 um, basically what they were saying was he was under a silent suspension for gambling and gambling is a huge no-no in the NBA and instead of ruining somebody's character and their um, and, and basically tarnishing their persona for that and for the NBA, you know, we'll just have them fake a retirement and then come back, or have them fake an injury and then come back. I'm not saying this is the case, but I would say, given how fake sports are in general, I would not rule it out. Now, again, hate on me all you want for saying this, but. You know, I'm just going by the fruit that's being bared from all of this, and it speaks for itself. I mean, it really does speak for itself. So, and to and and I will say this too. Let me say this as well. When when you, when these people, when these athletes, entertainers, whatever you want to refer to them as, when they sign these big contracts, I mean. Yeah, imagine how big these contracts probably are. They're signing how much fine print is in it. I mean, do you really honestly believe that they are reading all of that? I mean, let's just keep it real. I'm not saying they're not, but considering the kind of lifestyle they live and how much they're just always on the go and always under constant scrutiny and under the eye of the media and coaches and management, etc., I mean, I'm just saying, they, <laughs> you know, there's no telling what's in those contracts, so, I love the man, but, you know, as far as, like, I, I respect him as an athlete, huge Bulls fan, but once the Lord revealed all this to me, 
it had to go. This was part of my purging process so I could bear more fruit. Like it says in John 15 too, you know, I had to, I had to get this purged out of me so I can bear more fruit for the kingdom of God. You know, being a huge Bulls fan and being into sports and just fanaticism and, and all that nonsense that goes along with it, it is not productive for the kingdom of God, not at all. So, with that being said, everyone formulate your own conclusion. It's clear that this is 666. Revelation 13, 16 through 18. I'm just going to read very briefly. And it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now, obviously, we're all very well with that. You know, we're all very well with that scripture. Where well, I'm sorry, well aware. Please forgive me for my brain fart there. <laughs> Please forgive me, guys. Um, we're all very well aware of that scripture, the 666, what that all represents. So, I will say this to add on top of that, because this scripture doesn't get mentioned enough when we're talking about them numbers. But actually, if you turn to... And this is this is basically just a kind of you know a little confirmation. But if you turn to First Kings ten and fourteen, it says, "Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six talents of gold." Six hundred and sixty-six talents of gold. Now it's funny because again, Solomon was king, and if you know the word, you know the eventual path Solomon ended up taking. You know the seven hundred wives, three hundred concubines. You know Molech worship. Chicago Bulls equals Molech. I mean, Solomon. You know, with with Molech, they were sacrificing children to Molech. With, with that many wives and concubines, I'm not going to say this is thus saith the Lord, but more than likely Solomon was probably sacrificing some of his very own children to Molech. Now it's interesting that the type of, the type of currency that it was was talents. And you think about where we get our English word talent. And what that means and what it stands for. 666 talents. 666 talent. You know, that's that's what these that's what these entertainers and athletes and the such, you know, that's what they're doing. That's 666 talent. You know, to, to be able to really get paid for their talents, they gotta surrender to the 666. They gotta surrender to the mark. So I had to share that. Um, I just actually want to look up one other thing in regards to this. And I apologize for saying um so much, everybody. I'm working on that. I know it's not good being a speaker to really to really say that. But please pray for me. I will pray for any of you if you guys need it. And I, unfortunately, I'm not extremely, I wasn't like, prepared doing this as far as if I didn't prepare in advance. I'm just really freestyling this all so you know if you criticize me it's whatever but I go by what the Lord shows me and just how the Lord flows through me. Now the talent listed in the strongest concordance says that it's a large round coin. I want. I wanted to just see. I was actually looking up to see how much it's worth, but 
despite all that, I wanted to um, also add with Solomon, obviously, you know, we have the seal of Solomon, the 666-gram, the hexagram. We have the Freemasons who are just completely enamored with Solomon. You know, Hiram Abiff, you know, building the temple and all the pillars and Freemasonic symbols. I mean, it's all, it's all part of it. So, and through studying, from my understanding, Solomon is to, or I'm sorry, the Antichrist, if there is going to be an actual physical Antichrist, is going to come from the bloodline of Solomon. So it only makes sense that the amount, why, and that it was specifically mentioned this in the Bible, that the amount of talents that came to Solomon one year was 666. Now in my ungers, it says that a talent is the greatest weight of the Hebrews. Then it references me to another word. I believe you pronounce it metrology or something along the lines of that. If, I, if anybody has the correct pronunciation of it, if you want to share that with me, I appreciate it. But that's how I'm going to pronounce it for now. It's like, it's spelled metrology, basically, or metrology. So, if I mishmash that word a little bit, my apologies, but. So, that's what it references, Africa Talent does. And, let's see. Okay, then what it does is it, that, that's basically all the different measures and whatnot. So it, re it references me to a list of all the different coins and the such. And And all the different weights. And so he had 666 talents worth of gold. It doesn't really give a full... Uh, it doesn't really give a full, like... Basically, what it says is okay. Check this out. This is this is kind of deep. It says a talent seems to have been a full weight for an able man to carry. So a talent could have easily been like a hundred pounds, you know, two hundred pounds. <laughs> you know, that could have been a lot of weight. And then you add 666 of those. like, But when you really think about it, it's almost like, man, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of revealing because like when you think about how we use our English word talent to mean, you know, somebody's gift, somebody's skill, you know. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know if you get any, if anyone else gets any revelation out of that, please share with me because that's, I'm kind of getting some stuff right now just studying this and sharing it. But we have 666, the D Rose emblem. He's highly talented, but those talents are costly if you want to get paid for them. Here's the symbolism we have for you. I have very much more I would like to share with this, but I'm gonna wrap this up because I wanted to I didn't I didn't want this to be this long, but nonetheless it tends to be that way as it looks like. And I know some people unfortunately have short attention spans, so sometimes it's better just to keep it short. 
But nonetheless, it's turned into a small little study. I could share very many more scriptures with you. I could share more dictionary definitions and such, but I will say this. Talent is the innate mental or artistic aptitude as opposed to acquired ability. Less than genius. Then, of course, it also says any of several units of weight or money of account used in Greece, Syria, Palestine, and Babylon. So, yeah, take that how you will. Digest it, you know, pray about it if you're curious. I mean, because there's a lot of adults now. When I used to wear, like, the D-Rose shoes and whatnot, people weren't wearing it as much as they do now. Now I look around, I see kids wearing it. I see adults wearing it. I don't. I don't care. I see everybody wearing it, and they're, it's very expensive shoes. E you know, even the kids' shoes are pretty expensive for, you know. So, so it's, it's just good to keep ourselves from idols, like it says in First John five twenty one. Little children, keep yourselves from idols because this type of stuff is easily idol worship, and I'm guilty of it myself. That's why I've been just selling all my old Bulls merchandise hats, clothes, just to get rid of it, because I invested a lot of money in it, and I'd rather just kind of sell it, get rid of it, and, you know, use that money, to, of course, to buy Bibles and other things I can hand out for people, as far as the ministry's concerned, I wouldn't mind buying some DVDs and maybe start making DVDs, passing out Bible tracks, you know, basically just expanding, because, like it says in the Word, you know, Christ told told the disciples to sell everything and follow him and that's what I want to do I want to sell everything that's not important you know to me in my life and just follow the Lord and I pray the same for everyone else you know because he said in Matthew 11:30, my yoke is easy and my burden is light and that is so true when you start when you start cutting yourself off from all this world system all these worldly material you know unimportant items and just draw onto him it's like wow it's like wow it's amazing it really is amazing so god bless you all i love you all derrick rose 666 logo what do you think tell me about it comments personal messages likes dislikes whatever let me know what you think god bless you all in jesus name good night